Good morning class. This is GST 113, Nigerian Peoples and Culture. This is session, study session one, introduction to Nigerian Peoples and Culture. And the resource persons are Professor Adoyonoja and Professor Francis O. Onu. You are welcome to this class. And I want to assure you that it's going to be interactive and you will enjoy every bit of it. All right, learning outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to, one, discuss Nigerians' ethnography in terms of people's ethnicities, explain the issues that cut across these peoples as foundation for studying and understanding the rest of Nigeria. We refer to peoples in this course because Nigeria is a multi-ethnic, multi-linguistic, multi-religious and multicultural society. So it's made up of several peoples. So in this course, we refer to Nigeria as Nigerian peoples and their cultures. Introduction. Nigerian ethnography deals with issues of common interests and concerns in the study of the economic, cultural, social and political circumstances of Nigeria. It is also concerned with problems of Nigerian ethnic diversities. It will expose students to the diverse field of anthropology, more especially in the use of ethnography in the study of culture, patterns of social relations, social life of communities in Nigeria. In the end, one would be able to face and deal with the knowledge of people and about the people of Nigeria. A survey into the country's ethnography is intended to raise the awareness of self, neighbors, and immediate environment. It is also to sensitize one's consciousness about other Nigerians, especially their customs, socio-political organizations, and religions. The survey's emphasis is on the culture and social life of various communities. In other words, it is all about the survey of the diverse peoples of Nigeria. The rise of Nigeria. Nigeria rose from the ashes of a small, big communities that made up the chiefdoms, the kingdoms, and the empires the British people met prior to conceiving their project for the creation of Nigeria. Nigeria began on an ad hoc footing with clear roadmaps until Nigeria emerged. The British, through their trades, missionaries, soldiers of fortunes, and adventurers, established different types of relationships with the communities they met. They used these relationships as the basis of conquering the areas. The conquest began officially in 1851 when Lagos was conquered and annexed as a crown colony in 1861. Prior to the conquest of Lagos, Her Majesty the Queen appointed Mr. John Bertroff as Consul of or representative in the Bihan of Beni, of Bini and Biafra. The growth of Nigeria. Nigeria is in West Africa, along the eastern coast of the Gulf of Guinea, and just and north of the equator. It is bordered on the west by Bini, on the north by Niger and Chad, and on the east by Cameroon. Nigeria covers an area of 356,699 square miles, that is 923,768 square kilometers, or about twice the size of California. Nigeria is a work in progress, hence we don't have to give up on Nigeria. There are two phases in the growth of Nigeria. This, the story of Nigeria began with the British in 1849. The British officially laid the foundation for the creation of Nigeria with the appointment of Mr. John 
Bedcroft as a counsel in charge of the Bint of Beni and Biafra, as I noted in the preceding session, the conquest of the area that would have become Nigeria began with Lagos in 1851. This represented the first phase of the growth of Nigeria, the diverse ethnic nationalities that have interacted as neighbors in the course of several centuries prior to the coming of the British were brought together by the British to serve their interests for over 100 years until 1960 when Nigeria got her independence. The second phase began in 1960 when the newly meted Nigeria and Nigeria took the reign of power as the government of their country. In the last six of or more decades, the story of Nigeria has been unfolding. This is what constitutes the Nigerian peoples and culture. The definition of ethnography. There are several definitions of ethnography. The first one refers to ethnography as a scientific description of peoples and cultures with their customs, habits, and mutual differences. The second one refers to ethnography as a type of qualitative investigation that involves immersing ourselves in a particular community organization to observe their behavior and interaction up close. The third one sees ethnography as a written report of the research that ethnographers produces afterwards. Ethnography refers simply to a descriptive account of human societies, usually of those simpler, small-scale societies which anthropologists have mostly studied. It is the first-hand accounts of the culture and the social life of human communities from whatever point of view they are regarded. Ethno ethno <coughs> Nigerian ethnographic survey is the process of understanding communities in Nigeria. To further the process of this understanding, we shall dwell on some central areas. Summary of, of study session one. In study session one, you have learned that Nigeria rose from the ashes of small and big communities that made up the chiefdoms, the kingdoms, the empires, the British people met prior to conceiving their project for the creation of Nigeria. Two, you have also learned that Nigeria began on an ad hoc footing with clear roadmaps until Nigeria emerged. And three, ethnography refers simply to a descriptive account of human society, usually those of simpler, small-scale societies which anthropologists have mostly studied. Thank you. So that is the end of uh, our study session one, and that is the end of our study session one.